Howdy, this is the Gene Machine, coming at you live from the corner of my room. And hey, it's been a bit. I've been pretty busy with my other channel, Geodudes, and a new Twitter account I started in March that is now at... Uh, oh my god. Oh well anyway, I'm late to the game on this, but there's this new mobile game that's been blowing up lately called Dislight, and a lot of people have been talking about it, and a lot of people have been playing it of course. Now, that could be because of the endless amount of money that they gave to YouTube and Google Play for advertising to the point where you wouldn't not be able to hear about this game, but let's just call that speculation. Anyway, the game's pretty popular, and honestly in terms of gameplay, it looks really good. It's a breath of fresh air when compared to all of those auto-battler, idle crap games that companies have been milking the hell out of for easy profit. This looks like actual time and effort was put into the game. Surely the company behind this game has to be a, you know, well-loved and respected company, right? No. No, 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 it can't be. Not them. Anyone but them, no. So yeah, uh, Dislight was made by Lilith Games, one of the most notorious companies when it comes to mobile game ads. Lilith Games just has no shame in creating the most fake and dishonest ads you'll ever see. So the question is, are they any different with their new game Dislight? I mean, obviously not, you read the title of this video. So, with all that said, I have a bunch of ads prepared for you today. So take a seat, and let's look at some of the ads coming from this game, shall we? My goodness, look at these sensitive ears, the fluffy tail. Is this what furry heaven looks like? Oh god, no. Wait, what? Anubis and Fenrir are only three stars? Okay, don't panic. Dislight is unlike other games. Three-star espers can shine like superstars. As a free three-star esper offered to all new players, Anubis' ult can effectively take down multiple targets. Fenrir's multi-stage attacks can deal damage up to 200% of ATK. What's hotter than furry superheroes in action? Get them now! So, yeah. Sorry to start you guys off with a guy and his love for furries, but this is this light, everyone. Not, not like, look, there's nothing wrong with being a furry or anything, that's not what I'm trying to get at here. The problem here is that this is an ad on YouTube, and so any random Joe Schmo could be watching a video and boom, everyone in the room now thinks this guy's watching furry porn. Uh, but aside from the odd choice in words, the other takeaway I got from this ad is that just like every other big game from Lilith Games, this ad shows... That's right, fake gameplay. The models are real, or, well, as close as you're gonna get to real on a phone game, but alas, the gameplay they're trying to show you, where the you fight the big diamond thing, yeah, that's not real. I'm not gonna say you don't fight that thing in the game, you probably do, but it certainly isn't gonna look like this. This is an example of what a boss fight looks like in Dislight. Now compare that to the ad. This ad obviously has far better graphics, models, shading, post-processing effects, environment, yada yada. And that wouldn't be that big of a deal if it weren't for the fact that they're trying to make the audience believe that this is what the game looks like. They do so with the boss health bar, the character's UI and skills and whatnot. And if for some reason you don't believe me and you think this is actual gameplay despite irrefutable evidence, I think the fact that the ad is in landscape mode while the game itself is in portrait mode kind of speaks for itself. Anyway, let's move on to the next ad. Who is more powerful, Osiris or Seth? You cannot feel this energy. energy. Behold, this is real power. I guess I'll go shopping. Maybe get myself a new dress. Be grateful that I'm helping. Taste my fiery revenge. So, here's another ad where, again, it's all fake. And what I find funny about this one is the fact that the game has a unique abstract art style, right? But then in these ads, they'd rather go for the, you know, realistic, super high-end graphics and shaders approach. The fact that they've decided to show fake gameplay like this is a shame, because I want to reiterate, I genuinely think Dislight has some good graphics for a mobile game. 
It genuinely looks nice, so even for a game from this company that looks nice, they still decided to lie to their audience. And I say this every time, but they'll just keep doing it over and over again because they know, so long as Google Play gets their paycheck and YouTube gets their paycheck, they don't have to worry about all these ads getting taken down. You cannot feel this energy. energy. The moonlight will pierce the darkness. To battle! What could be better? No one messes with my brothers! Not an arrow wasted. The last two ads were bad enough, but at least those showed you what the game is like. A turn-based battler, right? But now we also have ads like this that show fake, you know, everything, and also lie about what kind of game it is. No, this light is not a fighting game, but they'll try to make you think it is for some reason. Oh, and I can understand if you didn't really take this as a fighting game, but rather like uh, the same as the last two ads, just in a different angle. So if that didn't convince you, here's another ad that follows the fighting game approach even more. And by the way, apologies for the low quality. Uh, this was the best I could find. Also, it's worth mentioning that this one uses royalty-free music in its ad. Uh, royalty-free music, a game with a vest soundtrack using royalty-free music for its ads, which I honestly think is icing on the cake right now. Welcome, Dislight Players. It's an honor to be invited. It's not every day you see a four-star Yan Lu Wang. Sorry, sir. We just raised the entry requirement to five-star espers. What? How about me? Five-star Odin, Sif, and Ra? You're the VVIP we invited today. How did you do that? I chose Artemis as my main offensive esper at the beginning of the game. As a powerful AoE DPS, she's capable of multi-stage attacks and deals an explosive amount of damage. She's also capable of healing. By relying on her, I easily beat the earlier levels. Download now and get 10 free summons. A legendary 5-star esper is guaranteed. What are you waiting for? Okay, so what I got from this ad is that they're at a Christmas party, judging from the fact that it says, you know, Christmas party right there. Uh, but this isn't just any Christmas party, uh, clearly based on the fact that the girl is in a bunny suit. Uh, this is an adult Christmas party. And the entry requirement to get into an exclusive adult Christmas party is to have spent more money in dislike. Oh, also, I wanted to point this out. I'm no detective, but I noticed something with the voice lines. So normally these ads just do these uh, dubs over the people talking, usually because the person has like, you know, too strong of an accent or something. But in this case, look at the bunny suit girl say, welcome dislight players. She's saying a two syllable word there, but it definitely doesn't look like she's saying dislight. And then every time after that, where they mention anything involving dislight, the video cuts to gameplay or, or fake gameplay, sorry. So you don't get to see the person saying it. And even the phone screen is blocked out every time they hold it up. Again, I'm no detective, but I have determined that this footage was used for an ad from a different game and they're just reusing it for this one. I know, I'm a genius. The genius machinist. Mimi is such a noob. All she has are three star espers. She does not belong here. Let's get her out of our squad. A few moments later. Hey, Mimi. Sorry, we forgot to tell you you're not part of our squad. I also forgot to tell you that I now have a five star Neza, Sun Wukong, and Poseidon. What? This site is all about strategy. Though so my Yao Ji is three star, she is an incredibly effective healer who can heal the whole team and boost their immunity. Pair her up with AoE damage dealer Artemis. I was able to clear the stage so freaking easy. I won heaps of resources and discs that are far more collectible. Wow. Any other tips you can share with us? Sorry, you guys are not in my squad anymore. Oh, did you guys hear that? Lele Pons own these frauds. I thought that was so cool when she walked in dressed like a blind person and then showed them her phone, which was oddly enough green screened in. You know, I'm starting to think she doesn't actually own these characters.
I always love in these ads, they try to make it seem like their roster should be impressive, but like, she says she has three five stars, and based on what all of the other ads have told me, you can get three five stars in like a few days of playing. So which is it, Dislight? Is this supposed to be impressive, or is this supposed to be expected of new players? Uh, anyway, this is another ad that would rather show you fake gameplay for absolutely no other reason than the fact that Lilith Games seems to have an addiction to doing it. Dad, is this cool thing a turntable? I'm busy! Can I try it too? Suit yourself! Yay! <laughs> My gold record! What? Whoa, it's Ra, son! You summoned Ra! Who is he? Ra is the sun god of ancient Egyptian mythology and the supreme god of Egypt! He's the creator who controls the power of the solar disk. Under Ra's eyes, all things can be born or destroyed. When Ra's eye opens, it is ready for victory. And he unleashes a dazzling beam of light that can see the enemy defenses as nothing. Enough to annihilate them all in an instant. Regardless of the ancient mythology or dislike, he is the supreme being and the king of the battlefield. Wow, can I draw again? No! Download it yourself! Hey, download this light and summon power powerful heroes yourself. Dislight, download now. Okay, before I point out the underlying cringe in this ad, I first want to mention that this guy got four five stars and one multi, which is more than the girl in the last ad had at all. And that girl was impressing the two other girls because they didn't have that many five stars. Therefore, I would like to conclude that the consistency in these ads are non-existent. Anyway, uh, this guy who talks like he's trying to get the attention of a three-year-old is a popular TikToker and YouTuber, with uh, some of his greatest works being uh, Mario and Luigi having a baby and the baby is Wario? Uh, so look, there's nothing wrong with this guy or his content, it's obviously designed for kids, right? It's just funny knowing that that explains why Lilith Games hired this guy to make that ad. Because they're obviously targeting kids in these ads. I mean, I would hope that anyone over the age of like, 15 at least, wouldn't find an ad like this, or like this, enjoyable. They're marketing towards kids because a lot of kids sit around all day on their phones, playing games and spending with their parents' credit cards, which is exactly what they're looking for. So yeah, th that's some of Dislight's ads. Now just to clarify, they're not all like this, I'm picking some bad apples out of a bunch of perfectly fine ads. The problem is that these bad apples have no reason to exist. As I said before, the game looks fine and enjoyable, so why they still feel the need to hide it in their ads is beyond me. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's video, consider hitting the like button and dropping a comment because it helps me a ton. Specifically, let me know if you've seen any of these ads from Dislight, or if you've seen any ads that are even worse. And if you would like to report any of these ads shown in today's video, I have the links to the ads as well as the Google report page all in the description down below. And with all that said, I'll see you all in the next video. Stay real.